Hello again, and welcome back to Simple Science. Today's project is called Let's Make Weather, and it involves ideas and concepts from the previous three experiments. In our first project, we made a homemade barometer. Hopefully, you were able to see the relationship between its readings and weather changes. In our second project, we made an electrometer and learned about how electrons can be stripped off of one material and deposited on another. And in our third project, we learned about convection and witnessed warmer air rising and displacing cooler, denser air above it. Now let's see how all of these things cause the weather systems that we see around us. Weather is defined as the state of the atmosphere at a place and time as regards heat, dryness, sunshine, wind, rain, etc. All right, let's get started. Here are the supplies you'll need. Two aluminum baking pans. Enough sand to fill one of these pans halfway. Enough ice to fill the other pan. Some incense and an incense burner. And that's it. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to want to do is establish what is called a control. In science, a control is the condition in which we are doing nothing to the experiment so that we have something to measure against when we perform the actual experiment. And here's how we make our control. In an area of your house with no breezes, Place the incense and incense burner between the two aluminum pans. Move the two pans close together so that the incense stick is aligned between them. Light the incense stick and wait a few seconds for the air around it to settle down. You'll note that the column of smoke from the incense rises straight up. This is because the air pressure is equal on both the left and right sides of the column of smoke. And that's it. You've established the control for your experiment. Now on to the actual experiment. Fill one of your aluminum pans halfway up with sand. Heat this tray with sand at 300 degrees Fahrenheit in the oven for 10 minutes. Fill the other tray with ice. As you did before, Place the two trays on either side of the incense stick. Be sure to use protective oven mitts on your hands when you're removing the tray with the sand from the oven. Push the trays together so that they hold the incense stick aligned with the line between the two pans. Light the incense stick and wait a minute or two for the air to settle. What happens to the column of smoke this time? You'll note that the column of smoke moves in the direction of the tray of sand. You've produced wind, exactly how it is produced in nature. The warm sand heats the air above it. Remember your convection experiment? This causes the air to become warmer and less dense. This lowers the barometric pressure of the air over the sand. Remember your barometer experiment? The ice cools the air above it, causing it to become cooler and more dense. This raises the barometric pressure. Air always flows from a high pressure zone, like over the ice, to a low pressure zone, like over the sand, to equalize the pressure. This is what causes wind. You have made a tiny breeze between the pan of ice and the pan of sand, and the smoke floated sideways in the breeze. The same thing happens between cold ocean water and hot beach sand, which is why there is almost always a breeze at the beach. Air pressure changes cause wind, but they also cause other types of weather. A low pressure zone usually causes clouds and rain, because as the hot air rises, it carries with it evaporated moisture that can condense into clouds. A high pressure zone usually results in clear skies and sunny days because sinking currents prevent moisture from rising up and forming clouds. These clouds can often result in lightning. The cause of a lightning strike is the separation of the charge within a cloud. 
positively charged particles accumulate at the top of the cloud, while negatively charged particles concentrate themselves at the bottom of the cloud. This is like the static electricity charge you measured with your electrometer, but much bigger. When the difference in charge is great enough between the Earth and the near surface of a cloud, a lightning strike may occur. Well, that's it for this week's Simple Science. We took ideas and concepts from our previous three experiments and used them to understand the causes of weather. Further, we created weather indoors. All in all, a good experiment, I think. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. See you next time.